Welcome to the Font Bonn Instructional Technology Conference 2012 for CED 507. My name is Mary Rayleigh and I will be facilitating this session. I'm the mother of a college sophomore. In recent conversations, our young scholar expressed dismay over the fact that many of her instructors had lots of knowledge about their areas of expertise, but did not convey it well. In her opinion, many of her classroom lectures could be eliminated without negatively impacting her academic learning experiences. She's not alone in her opinions. Many believe higher education is in need of an infusion of change. While almost 70% of high school graduates in the United States enroll in college within two years of graduating, only 57% of students who enroll in a bachelor's degree program graduate within six years, and fewer than 25% of students who begin at a community college graduate with an associate's degree within three years. The United States used to lead the world in the number of 20 to 30 year olds with college degrees. While U.S. college graduation rates have not decreased since the 1980s, they have not increased either. Now the U.S. ranks 12th among 36 developed nations. According to the College Board, the growing gap between the United States and other countries threatens to undermine American global economic competitiveness. Companies want graduates who can source, filter, and use existing knowledge to create new knowledge. This is the challenge for education from preschool through college, and the university has a key role in equipping students with these skills. Many discussions have taken place and studies have been done to address the topic of how to improve student learning and address higher education reform. In order to improve learning outcomes, we need to address the learning needs of all students and make better use of the classroom and educational technology tools to stimulate higher order thinking. While technology budgets at universities have increased, many instructors only use educational technology tools to replicate typical classroom methods. The availability of instructional technology has not resulted in a proportionate degree of enabling students to learn in new ways. Academic learning has two phases, transmission of information and assimilation of information. In the traditional classroom, information is transmitted in class and assimilated via assignments outside of the classroom. One potential problem with this model is that students are assimilating information when they have the least access to help. Misconceptions are more likely to go unidentified until formal assessments are given. Some higher education classrooms could benefit from a model called the flipped classroom. The flipped classroom is a model in which the transmission phase begins before class. Students prepare for lectures by completing a set of activities which may include reading, listening to or viewing multimedia lessons, activities, and completing and submitting an assessment before coming to class. The assimilation phase starts in the classroom with the guidance from the instructor. Teachers use the assessments to determine how to customize the classroom time to best achieve learning objectives. Technology tools are used by some to help them recognize the most effective needs of the students. Misconceptions can be detected and addressed early in the learning process. Students develop the skills to be responsible for their own learning and to become lifelong learners. Course content is available for review whenever and as many times as students need it. While the topics of budgets, innovation, reinvention, and transformation in education are being debated, 
Many educators are using sound learning theory and instructional technology to facilitate new and positive learning experiences for students in and out of the classroom. Instead of rote lectures, they're finding ways to actively engage learners and make class interactions with them more meaningful. In some groups, there's a small percentage of the group who raise their hands as soon as a question is asked and they want to answer every question. There are also those who are reluctant to participate in classroom discussions. In the most desirable scenario, everyone would contribute, resulting in the best outcome for the entire class. Think pair share is one strategy used to try and accomplish this. The instructor poses a question and make sure everyone understands it. A time of reflection is required to engage all students. Reflections may be recorded via writing or classroom response systems. Students discuss their viewpoints in pairs or small groups. During the discussion, peer learning takes place. Ideas based on the discussions are then shared with the class via discussion or classroom dis response systems. The instructor can use these responses to gauge whether the majority of the class understands the concept and decide how to proceed based on this information. Students are actively engaged and the quality of time spent in the class with the instructor is enhanced by directing the focus to topics which need the most attention. The Think Pair Share strategy can be implemented with or without technology. If a classroom response system is used, multiple polling can be done easily because the system quickly records and tallies responses for the instructor. The level of understanding before a pair discussion can be compared to that after. Anonymous submissions encourage less apprehension about wrong answer. It provides another opportunity for the instructor to assess the level of understanding of the topic and to assess the effectiveness of lessons. Two types of classroom response systems are clickers and online response systems. Clickers are a good choice if you have access to them. Socrative and PollEverywhere.com are both online response systems which allow participants to submit responses via mobile devices like phones, tablets, and laptops. They require little training. Responses may be submitted via the web, text message, or using Twitter. Polls can be embedded within presentations or web pages and update in real time. Socrative was designed specifically for educators. I'm more familiar with PollEverywhere.com, so I'm going to talk about that one. Let's look at Poll Everywhere. It's easy to create multiple choice or open-ended polls in Poll Everywhere. Type www.polleverywhere.com in your browser address bar. Look for the Create Your First Poll button. Click it. If you want to create an account first, click the Sign Up link at the top right corner of the screen. To learn more, click on the Help and Frequently Asked Questions link. Now you're ready to create your first poll. At Poll Everywhere, we strive to make things easy and intuitive to use. Fresh out of our Skunk Works is our new and improved way to create polls. Creating multiple choice and open-ended, also known as free text questions, now start the same way. Just type it out in its entirety and we'll start from there. What's your favorite color? Red, blue, or green? This question is clearly multiple choice, and as you can see, we think so as well. I can go ahead and change these options, add and remove a few as well. If I remove all the options of a multiple choice question, naturally, we think you wanted an open-ended question. You can switch back and forth as many times as your heart desires. Keep in mind that this question isn't created until you click the Continue button below. Voila! Now you can make further tweaks to your poll by clicking Edit. Now that's swell and dandy, but what if I wanted to create more polls faster? Let's go ahead and see what happens if I keep typing questions into our handy little magic poll creator. Can you taste the rainbow? True or false? 
gummy, worms or bears. Are juicy fruits really juicy? Hey, I got a bunch of polls now. Let's make an adjustment here and there. Verify that everything looks good. Let's go ahead and create these polls. Now some of you might be asking, what if I don't want to type out all these questions? I've got a huge list of questions stashed away in a Word doc in my closet. I just want to copy and paste it in. Can I do that? Well, let's give it a shot. Magic! Again, let's verify everything is as expected. Make a few adjustments. And go ahead and create these polls. Well, there you go, folks. Our new and improved way to create polls. We hope you love it as much as we do. And it's just in time for all your back-to-school needs. Once you've created a poll, it will be similar to the one I've created here. This is a multiple choice poll. The directions for responded are provided on the screen. You can respond via text message or via the web. To respond by phone, text the code for yes or the code for no to the number listed at the top of the screen. 37607 is the number. To respond yes, 446323 would be the code you'd enter. Please make sure users are aware that they may be charged by their provider if they don't have a text messaging plan. Another way to respond is to access the web. Go to pollev.com. Any device or computer you can access the web from will work. Enter the code for your answer in the box provided, then click Submit. Once your responses are in, the poll screen will be updated automatically in real time. You can see that there are two results to my poll, one yes and one no. This is the multiple choice poll result. Here is an example of what an open-ended poll would look like. I asked the question, how is technology affected affecting the learning process. I've got two responses. Depends on how it is used and positively. If I had more responses, they would show up also. This was just one example of how learning strategies and technology can be used in the classroom to engage students and create learning experiences that will have an impact. Peter Felton said, there's often an assumption that I can change something, but only after someone else or something else changes. But the future for liberal arts education looks fairly stark. I would urge each of you who leave here today to ask yourselves, what are you going to do to improve student learning? How will you answer the challenge? Thanks for viewing.